Hello everyone, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Shireen and today I am bringing you a spring 2003 collective haul. All right you guys, so the first look that I'm gonna show you is from one of my favorite stores. That is Zara. When I tell you I absolutely love Zara, I am on the app pretty much every morning looking at their new arrivals, okay? Anywho, this first set from Zara is what I'm wearing now, and when I tell you I love it, first of all, first of all, I used to hate animal print everything. I used to hate print everything, like I never, wore print until recently. I just started to open myself up to certain styles and designs that I normally wouldn't wear like floral and other things that are on trend right now. And when I tell you I am so happy, like this really, this look caught my attention and it took me a little minute to make the purchase, but I am so happy I did. I absolutely love this set. I feel like it was worth every penny and um, all the information is in the description box below because I don't remember pricing for each and every one, but I do remember that Zara noted that this top runs slightly big or it does run big and they were absolutely correct because initially I was gonna take the medium, but I waited a little too long to purchase and the medium was sold out, so I end up getting the large and as you, as you see it here on camera, I've tucked it in my bra so it cinches me in a little bit more at the waist and it looks a little bit more cropped so I do recommend if you do get this in a bigger and it's slightly bigger than you wanted you can tuck it in at the bra and it still looks good when I tell you I love this set it's so light fitting it is perfect for vacation oh, I love it it's comfortable and I feel like any body type can wear it the pants I think I got in a large, but I'm not completely sure, it's linked below. But um, they're so, it's so comfortable and I feel like you can wear it as a set, you can wear it separately, you can wear it so many different ways. I absolutely highly recommend this set if you guys come across it on Zara's website. So, the third piece I ordered, first of all, before I even saw this set, I saw these pair of pants and I said I have to get these pants. I was, I, I didn't purchase them immediately, but I love the design so much. And they're these animal print, and they're multi-animal print, so it's different prints um, with these pants. The fabric feels amazing. And honestly, I love the way it looks with the top of this set better than the bottoms that actually go with the set. My intention was to where my intention was to order both pants and see which one I like with the top better. Because even on Zara's website, their marketing is everything. They show this top, these pants with this exact top. And I was like, oh my God, that looks so fly. As well as, you know, how it already comes with the set. But this, look at this print. Look at how, this these pants look so high end. Now, the only, Thing. The only negative thing that I will say is that the comfort is just not on the same level as the pants that come in with this set. These are not as comfortable. They And they fit a little weird. Like maybe because I am a little thicker than somebody who is slim and who can just slip it on and slip it off. Maybe that's why, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not returning these pants <laughs> and I'm, I'm keeping the other pants as well. I love both of them. So both of these, oh my God, like I plant the, <sighs> I love the way these pants look with the, with this um, top so much better just because it gives it a more fashion forward feel. It looks way more luxe to me, but the pants that come with the set are just so much more comfortable. So it's a different, it, it's a slightly different look, you know, although they look very similar. Um, and this has like a fold, um, it's folded at the waist, but yeah, the, the fit is a little weird. I, I must admit, if you are thick, if you got little hips and got a little booty, you might find it a little bit more uncomfortable. And that's primarily why I also kept the original um, pants in this set because I feel like these pants aren't as comfortable, but I couldn't let them go. I could not 
return these because I just thought they were way too fly for me to return. Look at these, look at this print. And mind you, I used to hate animal print. What's wrong with me? Like, this is the back. So it, and it has two pockets on the side. So it's that cargo type of vibe. Love these. So the next item. <sighs> okay, so I don't even like bodysuits much. I don't wear them much because I always feel like they're so form fitting and my boobs are so big. I'm a triple D and then when I eat one little thing, I get bloated. So it's just, I don't know. I just kind of stay away from them because they're always so form fitting, but I couldn't resist this top. Look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Like, and this, so, and I've mentioned in one of my other videos, like I'm not the girliest girl. Like I just, some may think I'm a girly girl, but I don't think I am. I like to make everything a little bit edgy um, when it comes to a piece like this. So I did pair it with these American Eagle jeans that I'll be discussing shortly to kind of give them a little bit, make them a little bit more casual, make this bodysuit a little bit more casual because it has so much like tool at the top. It kind of looks really bridal if you're not careful. So like if you are a bride, a bride to be, I think pairing these with white pants or white slack on vacation, mm, beautiful, perfect, right? But if you are not and you just want to wear this because you love the style, I love the, the way it pairs with these American Eagle high-waisted denim jeans. But yeah, the material is very, it's its very light, stretchy. I got this in a size large. I don't believe they had, I think it was just small, medium, large. So I took the risk, got it in a large. As soon as I tried it on for the first time, I did hear an uh, inseam pop and I see where it did pop. It was like here at the top corner. I'm used to it. Like I told you, I have triple D, so <sighs> it's hard for, uh, for some, um, threading to to last when it's stretchy around, <laughs> around my bust area it's always going to be a little bit more wear and tear than the average which is fine but yeah so i'm really really happy with this and i don't think it was that pricey but the material isn't i mean the material isn't going to be like the best like it's 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 just not it's great it's light for the summer you know, you'll probably get a few years out of this before it starts looking dingy. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it. I think you can wear this with some shorts, some short shorts. You can pair this with so many different things. I paired it with these jeans. You, let me tell you something. I love, if I had to recommend any retailer for the best denim and the best jeans, for affordable, for an affordable price, it would be American Eagle. Most definitely American Eagle. First of all, not many jeans that have that boyfriend look comes with a little stretch. In American Eagle, every pair of jeans that I have are usually like they had this Tom Girl brand. I don't know if they still have it. That was years ago. But every pair of jeans that I order always have stretch. They're way more comfortable than other retailers that um, that make these these styles, but no stretch and the the denim is really thick. Zara being one of them. Like I just never have good luck with the jeans at Zara. But when I tell you I love these, I actually ordered. Um, two sizes so i ordered the 12 and the 14. i returned the 12 and kept the 14 because i wanted a baggier look i know that i'm i'm hoping that i won't regret it because you know how you know how it is with jeans you wear them once or while you're wearing them they get extra loose but i really wanted the baggier look um the 12 fit really nicely but it just was a little bit more snug at the waist and i really just wanted a, the most relaxed fit so i got the 14 or i settled with the 14 and returned the 12. these did come extra long so i'm not a heel girl i don't wear heels hardly ever and i am 5'5 five five, so i feel like 5'5 five five is probably average height, maybe a little shorter, um, maybe a little bit on the short side, but 
I had to cut about two inches off. So I did take it to the tailor the first thing I did, but they did a pretty good job and I still, um, it still looks like the original pair that I purchased from American Eagle. So yeah, I absolutely love these. I highly recommend them. Like I didn't even, I, were these on? These were not on sale and normally when I do purchase American Eagle jeans, I get them on sale. I think these were like $60 and I went ahead and grabbed them because I just knew that by the time I waited for sale, my size wouldn't be there. And I think it, it may be already sold out, I'm not sure, but I'll link it below. But yeah, love these. Now they don't do anything for the butt. And to be honest with you, most of these um, looser, wide leg jeans just never do anything for the butt, to be honest. They're so loose, they're so baggy, but you know, you can't have everything. I'm actually gonna purchase another pair. Um, not the same exact style, but I'm definitely gonna invest in another pair because I love these so much. And that's what it's all about. Like when you love something and you know that the fit is good and you'll get years out of them, definitely go ahead and make the purchase if you can. I have other American, um, American Eagle jeans and although they may not be in style, like I have one that is extremely distressed. Um, so you know that over distress thing is not on trend right now, but the jeans last and they still feel good. So the next pair of denim. Now everybody has seen this denim on every celebrity. I think the first time I saw like these oversized cargo designer was on like Kourtney Kardashian. I don't think they were denim though. I think she just had the cargo jeans like a couple years ago, but you already know. All the celebrities are wearing these cargo denim. I got mine from Fashion Nova and I am so happy I didn't invest any more in these because I am completely satisfied with the Fashion Nova dupe. Honestly, like Fashion Nova, first of all, okay, so unlike the American Eagle jeans, these do not have any stretch to them. So I ordered these twice. Like I said, I'm an online shopper and it, it takes me some time to develop enough for a collective haul because I'm ordering, I'm returning, I'm returning again. But I originally ordered this in the curvy plus size section and I ordered the 14 plus. They were way too big. I mean, at the waist, it was way too big and I plan on wearing these, I plan on wearing these with crop tops because they're so high waisted. You kind of hide a lot of the details when you're wearing it with the oversized shirt, even though it will still be cute. Like it will definitely still be cute worn multiple ways, but for me and my body type, I wanted to wear it with more crop tops. So I wanted to show off the waistline and it was just way too big. So I did return it for a size 15 in the regular size um, and it fit way better but they're, they're distressed so they have quite a few styles like this and I do plan, I actually will invest in another but it may not be as distressed so you can see how distressed the bottom is. But I absolutely love these. By the time I ordered, purchased these, the blue um, denim was sold out. So they had other colors but I went for this light denim and I can't believe like people haven't been ordering this color because I absolutely love it like you could wear it with so many different things I love the color of these um and I also had to take these to the tailor because they came extra long I probably cut about two inches off like I said I'm five five I don't wear heels too much. Even if you do wear heels, you may wanna consider taking them to the tailor so that you're not tripping up all over the place, especially with these because they do have a lot of distress um, fabric at the very bottom and you just don't wanna trip over them. So um, these don't do anything for the butt, honestly. They do not, not they are not the typical Fashion Nova that makes your booty look good and juicy. You know, this is not that, these are not those, okay? So unless your booty is just extremely huge, like it's, it's not gonna highlight the butt, which is fine. I don't feel like everything that you wear has to like highlight every single curve you have. Yes, these, these jeans are everything. There's no, like, I have absolutely no regret. And I think I paid, 
Fashion Nova wasn't that cheap. I think I paid about $40 or $50 for them. And of course, there's always a coupon for Fashion Nova. So of course that was applied, but um, yeah, they weren't like the cheap little like $20 jeans to be honest with you, but I feel like they're still worth it. The, the quality is good. You know, they're, you'll have these for some, a lot, a long time. Actually, the price can be justified because the quality is better than the typical Fashion Nova jeans with all the stretch. Like I normally purchase my jeans from Fashion Nova in addition to American Eagle, like when the skinny jeans were all in, I have so many of them from Fashion Nova and they feel amazing, but you're only gonna get a few years out of them if you're wearing them on a regular basis, you know, so. Yeah, I absolutely love these, oh my gosh. I hope they get the blue denim back in. Um, they had them in, I think, brown and maybe like a green, an army green color as well. So definitely highly recommend these. Got these pieces, this is a blouse from H&M. Let me tell you guys, H&M has really been impressing me lately. Like for many years, I just did not shop with them because I just felt like, I don't know. I just wasn't rocking with H&M like that, but for I don't know if they got a new designer or what, or their sizing is a little bit better. I mean, their sizing can still be a little off, but H&M has really been, like I've been ordering from them way more than I used to in the past, like way more. I'm on that app just as much as I'm on Zara's app right now. And because there are certain pieces that you could really make look elevated at H&M. So this is a blouse that I got, and this is something you can wear to work, and you can style it to wear, you know, happy hour, a vacay look. I feel like it is a just a simple blouse, but I love the color. I've been really attracted to green um, this spring. Like I've ordered, and I have multiple pieces in, this similar green color and so with this i ordered a medium so this is the medium and mind you i'm a triple d at the top so let's just say h m does run a little big um but yeah so it has like a crinkle it's like a it's called crinkle like a crinkle blouse on the product description on H&M's website. It definitely is crinkle, but it's soft. It really feels good on your skin. And I have sensitive skin, so there are certain fabrics from certain fast fashion stores that I just can't wear because I'll, I feel like I'm literally will break out. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, a regular blouse from H&M and I paired it with these shorts from H&M. And these are just some simple um, green, let's see, it's a little bit, put it in focus, yeah. So these are just some simple um, shorts. They kind of look like, they're not linen, they feel really good and they're stretchy. Um, I got the size large, but let me tell you, why did I order these shorts twice before I actually got them right the third time? So the first time I ordered these, I ordered the medium because I think on the website it said it runs large and it does have like an elastic waist. So I was like, well, let me get the medium. Well, my hips and my thighs did not like the medium because they were just way a little too snug for me. And I, for some reason, I feel like I may regret not keeping the medium because with H&M, with some of their pants, they tend to loosen up after you wear them for like an hour <laughs> and, they're, and they become extremely baggy. So I'm hoping that the, that's not the case with these. So anyway, I felt like the medium was so snug that I ordered the extra large thinking, okay, I might need the extra large in these. The extra large were way too big. So I settled on the large and this is what the large looks like on me. All right, so the next two pieces that I pur purchased from H&M are Perfect for work. If you're going into the office this spring and summer, you can throw this on. But let me tell you, 
So I love shirt dresses. I've been wearing shirt dresses forever. I think they're just so easy to wear. You can wear them multiple ways. You can wear them as a top. You can wear that as a, or no, as the original intent, which is a shirt dress. You can wear it as a bathing suit cover up. Like there's so many different ways to wear a shirt dress. You can belt it. You can wear them, you know, manipulate it any way you want. These shirt dresses are cotton from H&M and I promise you they are probably the best shirt dresses that I've purchased that were in this fabric. Like they feel so good, so light. Um, you can wear them all year round. Like I feel like perfect for summer and spring, especially if you work in the office and you want to go to happy hour or if you just have a weekend day out, you're going shopping. They're just so comfortable and so easy. So like I told you guys, I'm loving green <laughs> this season. So I purchased it in this green color and I purchased the, this is a medium. Look how big this is for a medium. And normally I would not be wearing a medium in a shirt dress. Usually it will be a large, but I thought this was super cute. It does come long. It has that slit at the very bottom. And then I purchased it also in white because I just felt like you can't go wrong with the white shirt dress. Um, but yeah, they, and you know what, for it to be cotton, like I'm sure it has some other fabric mixed in, so polyester somewhere, but um, you know, normally like 100% cotton is so prone to wrinkles. Like you can't even wear it without wrinkles, but I'm gonna be honest with you, although I have not worn this out, and I did, you know, make sure that I pressed it and um, ironed this before this video. It's not as prone to be wrinkled as I thought it would be. And that's why, th that's the reason why I do stick, like stay away from 100% cotton certain pieces like a shirt dress because I always felt like, oh my God, as soon as I get out the car, I'm gonna be looking like a wrinkled mess. But to be honest, no, like this, this shirt, like this shirt dress, actually feels so good and it holds pretty well you know you don't have to worry too much about the wrinkles so yeah highly recommend these highly recommend if you are a grown woman going to work you may want to take go to happy hour if you're away on the weekend and you just want to have a day out and be comfortable you don't want a bunch of clothes and fabrics on your skin when it's hot outside or you want to eat without having to worry about your stomach bulging out get you a shirt dress it is so comfortable so easy to style so easy to grab and put on i promise you like you can wear it with a jacket you could there's so many things you can do with the shirt dress and i highly recommend these from h m i feel like shirt dresses you can purchase from anywhere but these were i mean i think i got these for like 25 or 30 dollars and so worth it like so worth it and i love the pocket detail i really really do love the pocket detail at the side as well i am still on the hunt for a straw or some kind of that kind of stuff that kind of look um, bag for the summer, but I saw this on H&M's website. <sighs> oh my goodness. I had to get it. Had to get it. Look how vibrant this color is and the details. This would definitely be a beach bag for the summer. I absolutely love it. Inside is lined. It just has that white lining. But I love this and it's so big. You can literally wear this as a beach bag or you can wear it as a regular bat handbag for the summertime. But I thought this was so pretty or for spring. Look at this. And the color is just everything. That's what I'm saying. Like H&M really stepped their game up. This is the second bag that I purchased from H&M. You know that whole net look is in. And look at this color. Look at this color. Ugh. Look how vibrant this is. Oh my gosh. This actually comes in multiple colors on the website. It comes in a purple color that is amazing. It comes in a, I believe it's a blue color and maybe a white, but um, it's linked below or I'll link it below. But look at this and so it has that like net 
fabric and you know that is all like that is the, a big style and then it has like the inside still stuffed it comes stuffed but like the inside comes with like a drawstring bag perfect for vacation like i'm definitely taking this with me on my um vacation this summer that is all that i purchased recently from h&m I may have, I, I actually purchased quite a few things from H&M in the past few months, but a lot of it went back. They have some really cute pieces, but just sometimes they just doesn't fit the body, you know, or I'm not in love with it, so I just returned it. So this next piece, as you can see, green again, is from Pretty Little Thing. And I'm gonna tell you something. So, Pretty Little Thing, and these are, see, I look at Pretty Little Thing Fashion Nova, Shein, and all that as a different kind of fast fashion. It's like more extreme fast fashion versus a Zara in H&M. I feel like they slowed it down a little bit with Zara, but when it comes to she, um, when it comes to Pretty Little Thing, it's really a hit or a miss with Pretty Little Thing. Like, honestly, like I was not impressed with this at all. Um, it, it's big, so I got this from the curvy section and I felt like I tend to go to curvy when it comes to pretty little thing because of my boobs and so I do think it did fit because of my boobs. It just doesn't fit the way it fit on the model who doesn't have as much boobs as I have, right? But I did manipulate this a lot to where, not a lot, but I did have to manipulate it to where I was like, oh, this is really cute. You know, I had to kind of make it loose, kind of off shoulder and just kind of, you know, it definitely is just not off the hanger type of shirt dress for me and my body type. Now, if you are slimmer or um, you're, you don't have as big of a chest or boobs, it probably will look fall a little bit differently and probably a little you know I'm not gonna say better but it'll fall a little differently on you now as far as the fabric this is this is pretty little thing you're not gonna get much with it I mean there there's thread hanging all over the place out of these buttons um, it's not as light fitting so like the way I felt like it was promoted and the way I thought and intended on wearing this was as a swimsuit cover-up. And I think you can still wear it as a swimsuit cover-up cover up on maybe a windy beach day. But I think if you're wearing it on a regular, it may be a little hot because it's kind of heavier than I thought it would be. But I still think the color is really nice and vibrant. I do like how pretty little thing, and I'll show you another thing that I purchased from them, another blazer a blazer that I purchased from them. One thing that I do like is that they make their buttons the same color as the dress and H&M did that as well. Yeah, H&M did that as well and I think when you have the buttons in the same color as the shirt dress or as the, the blouse or whatever, it looks a little bit more elevated than when you have a white buttons on a green dress or whatever, so. Um, it does have a crinkle look, but like I said, I, I don't necessarily recommend this. It is it is really cute, you know, like when I tried it on and when I was taking some video for Instagram and stuff like that, I was like, oh, this is really cute. And if I were to see it like this, like I'm showing you, I probably would wanna purchase it, but I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to the reality of it, the, the, there's thread hanging. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it, it's probably not worth it. I feel like you could definitely probably get something better elsewhere, but I did not return this to Pretty Little Thing because I don't think, I think I purchased it on sale and it just wasn't worth returning. All right, so the next thing that I purchased that was from Pretty Little Thing, and I actually did wear this and, Look, this is what I do recommend from Pretty Little Thing, is this pink blazer. First of all, when I first purchased it, when it first arrived, I was not impressed. I actually wanted to, to return it, but I did not, and I'm so glad I didn't. So most of my blazers come from Zara. And if you're unfamiliar with Zara's blazers, they're very, they're much more, most of them are heavier, and it's not like a blazer dress, you know, they're regular typical blazers and I usually wear them to work all the time. I don't even wear them outside of work, you know, and dress them down. But with this 
blazer it's considered a blazer dress and it is a blazer dress because that's how I I'm able to wear it in um, it's softer it's way more comfortable and at first when it my first impression of it was like ugh, this seems so much cheap you know it seems cheap you know but it actually was way more it was way better for me to wear it during the spring the way I wore it um, I wore it a night out to dinner with my um, sister and I absolutely love it. I felt like it was extremely comfortable. I purchased this in the 12, yes, in the 12 plus section of Pretty Little Things. So it definitely, um, it's double breasted, but oh, I love this so much. The another thing that I did not like when it first arrived was that the color did not appear the same as it did on the website. And I understand like with the website, professional photos, they're doing a lot of manipulating when it comes to lighting and editing, but I feel like they probably should have made this look a little closer to the color that it actually is. As you can see on my video, it looks it's a darker pink, way more vibrant. When you go to the link, it looks like a lighter pink. But after I got over that, I fell in love with this, okay? I would definitely recommend this piece, definitely. And I think most of the sizes are sold out, but you never know, it may come back. Um, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I love the fact, like I mentioned earlier, the buttons are the same color as the dress and I just feel like that elevates it way more you know it makes it look way more expensive than it does than it is so this last piece I questioned if I even wanted to include it in this haul because I really got this in the winter time and this was during the time everybody was putting out Valentine's Day merchandise and I purchased this shirt dress from ASOS and I actually absolutely love the fit of this shirt dress. It can definitely be worn in the spring, but you can look at the colors. It's very Valentine's Day. Um, but I love the pink and the red together. I like it together. I think it looks extremely vibrant. It's bright, perfect for a vacation. Um, it's a satin fabric, but it's light. So you can still wear it in the springtime, especially if you are in like the Northeast or something like that. Um, you could definitely wear it de depending on where you are. Um, in Georgia, typically we don't have like a true, true spring. This year, for some reason, we are having a true spring where it's not scorching hot yet. Um, but I don't think we're going to have much time left before it does become scorching hot. So I definitely want to get this, you know, I want to wear this before it gets too hot. But I think this is so pretty. The color is just so beautiful and vibrant. Look all right you guys so that concludes this video i felt like i was talking forever hopefully this video does not come out too long if you guys enjoyed this content make sure you subscribe like hit that notification bell if you guys have any questions or comments definitely um list them down below yeah, thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful and blessed day